This is my uh, early 1950s rate meter, which I've been working on for several months now. Uh, I finally got it to operate, and it was powered by two. And it's a fairly uh, interesting device. Uh, each gauge represents uh, factors of 10. Starts out with the first uh, decadron tube, which counts off single counts, and then a second one, which then adds up to 10, and then the uh, digital readout, which will uh, give it in hundreds. So you start out with a digital at one, and if this is zero, and this is zero, that's 100 counts. Now I'm going to turn it on uh, to show the action. You can see the uh, thing is on. It's registering uh, minutes right now on that readout. And this readout is not registered at 1, but it will in a moment. It's almost there. There we go. So that's 100 counts thus far. This is a Geiger tube. And this is a piece of uranium that I found about 20 years ago. This is actually a piece of uh, petrified wood, which has been replaced by uranium. And you can see how radioactive this is. It's pretty amazing. I mean, it's a fairly radioactive uh, piece of wood. And already, just after you know, a few seconds, it's registered over 500 counts. I found that outside of Flagstaff up to your camera. The Jack Daniels line. And this is a piece that I got recently, and this is kind of a nice one. This is carnitite, found at the uh, a mine, you know, up in uh, Monument Valley in the 1940s. And you can see all sorts of nice mineralization on it. It's petrified wood, replaced by uranium, and it too is fairly strong. And you can see the readout. The ones are going by really fast. And a little bit less, and hundreds is popping. And the meter set at this tube about 900, uh, actually it's set at 800 volts for this particular tube. Here's a piece of curite. The curite is an extremely radioactive uh, mineral. And it's from uh, Africa. And uh, curite is uh, high in radium and has a very distinctive color bright orange yellow, very heavy mineral, but it's extremely radioactive. It will actually, uh, it will actually overpower my tube. My tube cannot register uh, the radioactivity of this particular uh, mineral. So these are some of the minerals that I have. I have some other things that I'll test uh, later with uh, another video as I get this thing uh, uh, more accurately adjusted. So that's a little bit on this old rate meter from the early 1950s, late 1940s. Uh, this unit came from uh, Kentucky and was uh, used at Oak Ridge National Laboratory before it was decommissioned. And it took quite a bit of work to get it working. I mean, it just, uh, I spent months on it. And I wasn't going to give up. I had no uh, schematics or anything to really adjust it. And I just had to go through the circuitry and replace certain items uh, to get it functioning again.